Okay, inversions. If I have a C chord, C triad, correct? You see there's a, a note on this line, and then a note on the very next line, and a note on the very next line. Now if I had a D triad, you see that there's a note on that space, and the very next space has a note, and the very next space has a note, correct? Those are triads in root position. So far, that's what you've been dealing with. Like triads in root position. All right? Now, what if I wanted to put this C up there instead of having it be down there? So I'm going to take this C and I'm going to move it up here and then put these notes up here. You see that? It's the same chord. But you know, it's inverted. Now, if you'll notice how you can tell that this triad, now this works with the triads only, okay? but the triads, three note chords, look at it. There's a gap right here. You see the gap? All right. Now, what we want to find out is which. No, do I make the major scale from to find out what kind of chord it is? It used to be with the bottom note. In root position, it's the bottom note. We make the note out of C. We're looking for the C major triad, and we've got to go to the C major scale to make this. But the bottom note here is E. And we can make the E the major scale all day long. It's not going to work with these notes. There's a G sharp and a C sharp in the E major scale. We, have, this is some, we don't know what kind of chord. This is some kind of C chord. I know it's some kind of C chord. And the way you're going to know it's some kind of C chord is the root of the chord is the note above the gap. You see that? What if I did that D chord that I did earlier? Where's the root? Above the gap, right? You see the gap? So if I do this, which note is the root? The G. Right here. So I will go make my G major scale. And then I will say, oh, is this a major, minor, or minor, or diminished chord? I don't know yet, until I go to my scale. Oh, well, I have a, a D natural, well, that's the perfect fifth. A G, that's the root, and a B natural, that's the major third. So this is a G major triad, sideways slash over D. I have to tell you how to voice this chord. I have to tell you that it has to be an inversion. And the way I tell you that is an inversion is with a slash sideways, not straight. Sideways. G slash over D. That's what that is. That's a G triad over D. What if I did this? What would this be? G minor over D. That's G minor over D. And I know that that's what it is because I figured out that I've got to make the G scale to find out what it is. I make the G scale and I get to the third, and the third is a B natural, but I have the third lowered. Therefore, it's a minor. It's G minor, and the, low, the, the bottom note is D. Let me just give you a quick hint. If you go like this, and you've got to name that chord, well, we found the gap, the gap is here. So it's some kind of what? Some kind of A, all right. Now, before I figure out anything, I know this, that this is the bottom note, right? What if I just did E? I know that's the bottom note. And I figured out it's some kind of A when I make my A scale. I find out that uh, uh, C sharp is the major third, E natural is the perfect fifth, great. That is an A major over E. The note above the gap in the inverted triad is the root of the chord. Here we go. Gap's on the bottom. Let's put the gap on top. What's the root? C up there. C. And what's the lowest note? Uh, it would be that E. What's the root here? It's the uh, C. It's the C. And what's the lowest note? Uh, the G. 
Okay. All right. Cool. So it's always the one above the gap. In the triads. In the triads. The note above the gap is the scale that you make. Okay. In the triads. That's the root of the chord. Okay. 